Diaz and welcome back to another video everybody. So the last time I was in Joshua Tree, I had a little problem with this Olympus OM-1. Turns out I couldn't advance the advanced lever on this film camera. So I have to get in here and take it apart a little bit and see what I can do to try to fix this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little screwdriver. Now they recommend using, who's they? The interwebs. They recommend using a cross point screwdriver of some sort, not a Phillips, but I'm assuming this is gonna work. So let's give it a go. So I think it's a good idea to find somewhere to put these little screws. So I'm gonna place them all on this little top here so I don't lose them. And let's continue the uh, let's continue the process here. There's four screws on the bottom of this camera that I found. I feel like one goes there, but that could be for something else. But these were the four screws that I was able to uh, remove. Then you go ahead and remove the top here. We're gonna move these out of the way. And voila, this is the inner workings of an Olympus OM-1. The problem lies right here in the idler gear and its notches need to line up with the cam stack, which is this little mechanism right here and it's out of sync. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this uh, idler gear. Underneath the idler gear, there is a spring. Now the spring could be bad or disformed. So if, so if it's disformed, it's weak and it doesn't allow the mechanism to move through or your advance lever to advance the actual film. So what we're gonna do is carefully remove this screw right here. And do it very carefully not to mess it up. And as I actually removed it, I could see a little bit the inner workings and the mechanism turn. So we definitely need to keep an eye on that. So let's go ahead and put that guy in the tray. And what we can do is carefully remove the idler gear. Should pop off here, but you need to be super careful because I've never been into one of these film cameras before. So you can see now this is moving freely, in fact. The advance lever is right here, and as I pull it, I can kind of see the gears moving slightly, so there, there's something wrong there. So I'm carefully remove this idler gear. In fact, let me get a different tool. Try to get it loose from here. There we go. Now I'm able to take this guy off. Remove him for right now. I'm gonna take this idler gear and put it off to the side. So I have removed the spring in question here. I'm not gonna have to reshape it, it's in good shape. So we're just gonna reposition it. But before we do that, let's go ahead and go back to the gears and see what we can do there. So what ends up happening is this cam stack gets out of position and needs to be put in position so that the idler gear notches fit around or at least in the area of this cam stack so it all moves in unison. It's important that this rubber piece here is against this lever stop. And so we're going to put the idler gear back on here. But before we do, we need to reposition the spring around here. And so it goes through this little notch here on this screw. So as you can see, as I advance the lever arm, you can kind of see the mechanism work. And it was not working because they were out of alignment. So what we want to do is we want to take this notched portion or these little notched out areas and place those where the two nodules are here on the uh, cam stock and put this bigger piece here right inside of this area right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah, before I do that, lest I forget the spring. So the spring's in pretty good shape, so that is good news. Now I just have to gently get it back in this area here. There we go. 
Okay, it's sitting right, it's in the hook. So now we'll go ahead and place this little guy right. Okay, and so what I was talking about here is this little nodule on the cam stock needs to be close to this little cutout space here on the idler gear. So it looks like to be in the right spot. So in order to test it before putting the screw back on is to put your index finger on the idler gear and take the advance lever down here at the bottom. Go ahead and advance it. Seem to work. So it seems to be working pretty good. Everything's in the position where it needs to be. And so I'm gonna put this screw back in the idler gear. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and advance it. Now that the screw's in, everything should work just fine. Yep. So last thing to do is to go ahead and place the cover back on the bottom here. So again, I had four screws. Again, ever so gently on the screws, you don't want to overturn them. Just get them nice and taut. All right. Okay, everything's in there. We've got Full working shutter. In fact, let me um, let me change the shutter speed to one over two fiftieth. Get a little bit faster of a shutter. There we go. Selfie. Okay. I don't even know what to say. I guess I should say that. If you were ever leery about taking apart, especially a film camera that isn't necessarily working and is not over the top expensive, you can also get it for under $100 in many instances. And just don't be afraid to get in there and try to fix it yourself. Again, it was just that idler gear that was stuck and out of place with that cam stock gear. And together, they need to work in unison. And I'm just pumped. So subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a like if you liked any part of this video. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you. We're marching to 600 subs. I'd love you to join the Buenos Dias imagery family. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Until the next one, peace.